the amazing thing about electricity is we take it for granted. We flip a switch and the lights go on, the coffee percolates, you charge your phone. When you're in a community that doesn't have access to electricity, their day starts when the sun comes up. They have to collect wood in order to cook. Their kids can't study after night falls. You can't have modern medicine. You can't charge your phone easily. All of these basic things that we take for granted in an electrified community aren't possible. In Africa, there are about 600 million people who don't have access to electricity. Across the world, that's more like a billion people. We can provide access to electricity in villages that range from 500 people to 50,000, maybe even 500,000 people. We're giving people access to health care, to economic opportunity, to educational opportunities. That's really the problem we're solving. My name is Nicole Poindexter. I am the CEO of Energicity Corp. I grew up in Houston, Texas. My dad's a surgeon, my mom's a lawyer. My parents worked very hard to give me as many advantages as they could, but to them, getting a great education was more important than any sort of hardship there might be alongside that. My mother was in the civil rights movement. My dad was the first black tenured professor at um, Baylor College of Medicine. I was one of the first black children to go to my elementary school. So my childhood led me to think that there aren't problems, there are only obstacles to be overcome. I saw that there was this problem in the world that there were people who didn't have electricity and I felt that I had the skills to try to solve it. So I just took one step in front of the other, which is what my parents had always taught me. And I did a financial model, because I'm a former banker, and it was interesting, except I knew no one in Africa. At the time, Ghana was going through a severe power crisis. There were outages about 36 hours out of 48. So I got on a plane. The first thing I did was I met with the regulators, but most importantly, I went to some villages. I said, hi, my name's Nicole. I would like to bring electricity. I really expected that they'd say, go away, crazy lady. But actually what they said was, can you come back tomorrow with light? I was like, what's well, gonna take longer than tomorrow? But at the end of that trip, I really felt like I'd made a commitment to try. Energicity is a solar mini-grid utility. We build a solar farm in the middle of a community. We have batteries to provide 24-hour power. And then we have poles and wires to bring electricity to each person's house. This idea of centralized electric utility is really a 20th century idea. And with the new technologies that we've got access to today, it's not the most efficient idea when you're talking about communities outside of the main city centers. In Africa, many of the utilities are run by the government. The big problem is there are not transmission lines that connect these large generation sources like the dams to the rural communities. We're unique in that we've got teams of people who go into these rural communities to understand the needs of the people, to understand how our electricity can best benefit them. We realized very early in those first villages in Ghana by talking to customers, and one customer in particular, he had a freezer. He was complaining to us that his electricity bill was too high. And we looked at the freezer and the door did not close. And so the poor guy was using three kilowatt hours of electricity a day because he bought the best freezer he could afford. And we realized that in order for our customers to be able to use electricity productively, we also needed to get into the business of providing high quality appliances that were energy efficient in a way that our customers could find them cost effective. So we started financing freezers and that has expanded to electric mills. 
It will soon expand to electric motorbikes, but we've realized that we can give them better access to electricity and the benefits of electricity, but also create a new business line for our company. My name is Mohamed Suma. I'm a teacher in this community. I do not have access to electricity when I was growing up. It was very difficult to study at night. We used to have many thieves in the community. We are not having methods of preserving our fish. So they used to got rotten. We started accessing electricity in our community since 2019. Electricity changes my life in many, many ways. I'm able to plug my phones without telecenters, which is very costly. Now we have freezers that we preserve our fish. This electricity serves as security. The crime rate reduce. The additional income has helped us a lot as family. This income pay for my kids in school, buy uniform, shoes, bags, books. We used to eat once per day, but now we, we eat twice in the morning and then in the evening. The doctors use this electricity to put the vaccines and our women deliver our children well using this light. Light is life. When we turned on our first microgrid, people celebrated. They fell to their knees praying. People were excited. I came back a couple of weeks later and they'd set up this huge speaker and there was an every single night dance party. Not to celebrate the electricity, but to live life with the electricity and to live it with joy. There's a lot of joy in having access to something that makes such a huge difference in the little things and the big things. And it's really great seeing that.